breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Hand Ebube Agu pro erupt in Ebony State following several killings by the outfit. Hand Ebube Agu pro erupt in Ebony State following several killings by the outfit. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. As the battle for who takes over from Governor David Umayi of Ebony State intensifies, several events have been unfolding. One of such events is the activities of Ebo Bay Agu security outfit in Ebony State. Recall that about a month ago, Governor Umayi inaugurated Ebube Agu in the state. This was after several months they have been operating in the state without any formal inauguration. The Opposition Party, the PDP and indeed majority of Ebonians have come with every criticisms about the operations of the security outfit. Many believed the so-called security outfit was created as official political talks to haunt the opposition party members and dissent. Several infractions including extrajudicial killing of innocent citizens by the Ebu Bay Agu, have been reported. Recently, the group kidnapped the PDP Publicity Secretary, Unwoba Chika Unwoba, which took the intervention of the anti-kidnap squad of the Nigerian police to avoid their next attempt. Unfortunately, Chika was remanded by the police instead of arresting his abductors and was later charged to court by state government for flimsy reasons under the guise of unknown cybercrime laws of the state. Chika is still in the custody of the Nigerian police even with his failing health condition. Cases of the Ebu Bay Agu security at outfit extorting money from Trizaco drivers within the city metropolis abound, and it was reported recently that the Trizaco drivers are planning an open protest against the extortion from the group. A visitor to the state lamented how he noticed the Ebobe Agu men have officially taken over checkpoints and mount roadblocks across the state. He wondered how untrained trigger happy young boys could be handed over such assorted rifles and scattered all over the state, a situation he referred to as time bomb waiting to explode. Today, Sunday 23rd, January 2022, one Unna Ogo Akpoke Ayim was allegedly reported to have been shot dead by Ebube Agu men. Unna Ogo is from Akeze community in Ivo local government area, same local government area with His Excellency, Senator Ayim Pius Ayim. This ugly situation has led to a huge demonstration across the local government area by indigents calling for end of Ebube Agu in the state. Both old and young are currently on the street 
protesting as the time of reporting these. It is reasonable to note that only a Boeing state has a Bobe Agu security outfit, even when it was agreed that it should be the local security outfit for the southeast region and should operate to guard the forest against criminals. One wonders why a Boeing state already set up their outfit and instead of deploying the to guard forest, they were deployed to harass innocent citizens and opposition. The issue of insecurity and high level infractions by men of Ebobe Agu in a Boeing state should attract the attention of the global community, especially as the nation go into election soon. The police, DSS, NSA, NIA, and other security agencies should checkmate the proliferation of arms in Eboing through illegal security groups. As the battle for who takes over from Governor David Umayi of Eboing State intensifies, several events have been unfolding. One of such events is the activities of Ebobe security outfit in Ebony State. Recall that about a month ago, Governor Umayi inaugurated Ebobe Agu in the state. This was after several months there have been operating in the state without any formal inauguration. The opposition party, the PDP, and indeed majority of Ebonians, have come to average criticisms about, about the operations of the security outfit. Many believed the so-called security outfit was created as official political talks to haunt the opposition party members and dissent. Several infractions including extrajudicial killings of innocent citizens by the Ebobe Agu, have been reported. Recently, the group kidnapped the PDP Publicity Secretary, Unwoba Chika Unwoba, which took the intervention of the anti-kidnapped squad of the Nigerian police to avoid their next attempt. Unfortunately, Chika was remanded by the police instead of arresting his abductors and he was later charged to court by state government for flimsy reasons under the guise of unknown cybercrime laws of the state. Chika is still in the custody of the Nigerian police even with his feeling out condition. So my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned and do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.